Hey guys, Sarah here from The Brag at the Oz Harvest Market with Alicia. Hello. Hello. Do you mind telling us a bit about yourself and what your role is here to start off with? Yeah, absolutely. So my name is Alicia Kerwin. I'm the state leader for Oz Harvest mm -hmm. in New South Wales and ACT. And um, we've recently opened a project called the Oz Harvest Market. So I'm the project leader. So tell us a bit about the concept behind the Oz Harvest Market. Yeah, so we were very lucky toward the end of last year to discover we were going to be gifted this space to make use of. Amazing. It's a site that will soon be redeveloped or toward the end of the year. And um, in the period in between now and then, they wanted to make sure that it was well utilised. For that reason, uh, they said that we could look to do whatever we wanted with the space. And so we figured opening Australia's first food rescue supermarket would be something innovative um, that would allow us to talk more about the space of food wastage and um, provide food to those that are in need. Where did you get this idea from? Like, does it stem from another idea, like from another country or did you guys just like think it was a great thing to do? Yeah, it's a good question. There's been some models done before in Europe that are similar, but most of them what happens is people go into this place and they either need to plead their eligibility for the food mm -hmm. uh, by explaining that they are on welfare or social services. Right. Alternatively, what happens is people go into the space and they pay for the product. This is the first of its kind because we exist wholly and solely based on people taking only what they need and paying if they can. And asking no questions. Yeah, so for us it's just really important that we're engaging people. They understand that this is based wholly and solely on rescued and donated food, um, that it's here for everyone and only if they're then supporting us by taking just what they need and paying when they can, um, can we continue to open the doors. What has the response been like so far? It's been incredible. We've had so much support. I can say we've had some pretty constant streams of lines out the doors. Yeah, I could see people were lining up before you guys even opened. It's great to see. Yeah, and we're getting some regulars now, which is also great. It's fair to say that when people come into the space because it's a new concept, People don't necessarily know how to engage. Uh, we talk them through that. Our volunteers are the same, so we're learning as we go. But really what that looks like is we have a volunteer greet every single customer that comes into the space. They walk them through the space. We explain to them the broader purpose so that it makes good sense to them and they understand the concept of taking just what they need and paying what they can. Um, it takes a little bit longer but we feel like that's the best option, particularly when we want people to understand that this is really about minimising food waste, nourishing the country, and helping to support organisations such as Oz Harvest do that um, on a global scale. Where do the donations go to? The donations go to Oz Harvest. So we explain to everyone that for every dollar that they donate, it allows us to provide two meals for someone else who's hungry and in need. That's a huge return on investment. And so the donation is just as much about us putting food into this space as it is donating food to the agencies that we service. There's over 2,000 donors that we take receipt of their food daily across the country and we have over 900 agencies that we provide services to in a conventional sense. Um, surplus product comes to this space mm -hmm. and it just provides a different environment for us to be able to share that with the citizens. Yeah, I was going to ask, where do you guys get a majority of your food from? Yeah, so we get our food from major supermarkets, from cafes, restaurants, producers, farmers, anyone who has perfectly good food that wants to ensure it doesn't go into landfill and that it gets put into the bellies of hungry Australians. Incredible. So how can people donate their time, money and their food? Yeah, so we're taking donations from people's uh, food if they have canned items, cereals, that kind of dry stable stock uh, we'd love to see. Mm -hmm. But in addition to that, of course, people coming in and shopping in the space, if they take just a few items and they're willing to make a donation, that supports the environment, it supports Oz Harvest and it also minimises food waste. We hope that they get something abundant out of that too. Um, and we are always looking for volunteers. The more volunteers we have, the faster we can serve the people that are entering the space. Um, it helps us bring them through, explain why we're here and what the broader purpose is. So we're open Monday to Friday, 10 till 2, and we'd love to extend those hours, but it is wholly and solely based on us having enough volunteers to support the operation. If you'd like more info on how you can get involved, please go to www.ozharvest.org forward slash market. We'd love to hear from you.